Alright, so I haven't watched porn in like two or three days. And I'm going crazy. I absolutely need it, man. Like my nipples are getting hard for no reason. Anyways, I want to tell you guys a quick story. Now, this story, <laughs> it took place actually about six years ago, seven years ago. I don't know, like real, like real long time. Probably the oldest story on my channel right now. Like everything that I've been telling you guys happened within like a five year, maybe not even less than that, like a three year range, you know? This one is probably the oldest story on this channel so far. This was the day that I ran away. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I listen man I'm, I'm laughing because I say that I ran away but I really just ran around the block like <laughs> I ran around the street bro like seriously listen I was like a kid I don't know I was like five five four three two one and I'm playing I don't know what I'm saying like I was young I was young bro and you know I, I didn't know like you know I always had like a temper tantrum like I was through temper tantrums when I was a kid and I was I always had these anger issues and shit like that I always get mad at people throw shit hit people shit like that right and I remember I don't know what we was doing it was at my grandma's house I was at my grandma's house and my parents were there we were chilling you know playing some wiffle ball probably you know what I'm saying I always play wiffle ball man my whole life I grew up playing wiffle ball that's my favorite thing to do I you know wiffle ball is the shit anyways so I don't know what happened. I don't know what got me angry, but I just remember leaving the house and like walking, like speed walking away, right? And as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really followed me because they, I mean, not because they were like bad people, but <laughs> they knew that I was gonna like end up coming around. You know what I'm saying? They, was, they knew I wasn't gonna go that far. So I, I started speed walking. And I went around the street. I was angry. I was like, yeah, I'm never going back. I don't care. You know, as a kid, yo, you, you get that. You you know, you think, like, you can you can handle yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think you can survive on your own as a kid. So, you, I'm walking away. I'm like, yeah, I don't need them. I could do this all by myself. I'm about to live in these woods or whatever. I'm about to fucking make a blanket out of leaves and shit. But I remember walking around the street. Like, seriously, I walked out of the house. And I went down the street, took a turn, and went in a big-ass circle. And then I came back, right? Not to the house. But to the house next to the house that I left from, right? And there was like these little bushes there where, I, where like the fence was. It was like a bush there where I can see everybody still. So I was in the bushes for, let me tell you guys, about two to three hours. I was in the bushes right there to the point where it was nighttime and people actually got worried then. So they were like, what the fuck is he? Like, what happened? So everyone's yelling my name. They're all like, Phonix. Now, I'm like, imagine, <laughs> imagine they call me Phonix. But nah, they were like, Brian, or whatever. They were calling my name and shit like that. And I was not answering, you know what I'm saying? I was just I was just chilling there. I was gonna see what's up. And you know, my mom's over there, she's yelling my name and, and she was calling my dad and to the point where they were about to call the police, bro. And seriously, man, I was the dumbest kid ever. I don't know what I did, but I was I was scared for myself too, because I don't like you know, I don't like like bugs or you know, animals and shit like that. Cause I fucking hate like flies and all that shit. So I was in these bushes and I was looking at everybody. I'm like, eh, let me just go back now because I was kind of hungry. You know what I'm saying? You know, as a kid, like, you're like, eh, you know what? I'll put it up with it for a few more years or whatever. So I got out the bushes, man. And I was like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I was like, I just came, what's up? You know, I just came out of nowhere saying, what's good? You guys looking for me? You know, <laughs> I just like, I was chilling, man. And then my, my mom, she was like, oh my God, oh my God. She gave me a hug or whatever. And she's like, where did you go? Because I was such a little kid, man. Like, you don't know what could have happened to me. Like, anybody could have took advantage of me, probably put some roofies into my fucking, my sippy cup and shit it made me like go to their house and do some crazy shit bro but you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying man like yo a bunch of shit could have went down but luckily i was like you know i was so i was careful with my movements you know what I'm saying where i was going and shit like that i make sure not to go too far where i would be put into a white van that was a very suspicious van or whatever some kids selling some fucking 40 year old nigga telling me he said him i'm selling candy you want to buy some candy for me you know some shit <laughs> some shit like that but Anyways, man, it's your boy Nigga Phonics, and I'm gonna go jerk off now. So, peace!